just wanted to show some footage of bass mullet underwater plus these as well i'm not sure what these are have a little look it looks like there's two species of fish here uh, pollock maybe or maybe they're just bass and mullet smaller but sharing the same shoal uh, i'd love to know what you think have a look as we go through this video what some of these fish are so i put the gopro onto a pole and just pushed it down and as you can see there's bass there and mullet and some of those bass were actually three pounds i suppose and there was one or two of the mullet that would actually be as big as i'd say four pounds here you can see how they share the same shoal as well They're feeding some bread look at this no yes <laughs> um i don't know it just it, it's just something that I find interesting seeing how they are underwater and you can see if you are fishing for mullet they just wait for that to drop come down for the bread it's just presenting that on a hook I think is the hardest bit I really got these mullet feeding uh, they're right in front of me I can have a look later at, at where we are but you can just see how they shoal up these are only I say they're about a pound these fish some of the bigger ones are two and then even bigger just slightly further away from the main shoal well, it's really interesting to watch the bass I don't know if you can pick up on this but the bass are slightly lower in the water and if the bass want the bread they just come piling through all the mullet and take the bread <laughs> these are really in a feeding frenzy if you see fish like that you see how they're turning sharply moving and looking moving and looking they're not cruising and the difference is if you look at some of this um, footage from earlier on in the year this is a different venue if you look at those bass there I don't think those ones are feeding they're just cruising around actually they were quite interested in me but easily spooked and off they go again I see they're a little bit curious. And they know just me around in the water is not going to give them a problem, I think. And as we go back to these mullet and bass here inside the harbour, you can see that it's more friend more frenzied, isn't it? and they're just waiting for that bread so what I've done here is I put some bread with fish oil down just practicing getting some um, ground bait that they're used to feeding on look at that put my hands in at one point and they're bouncing off my hands as well I'm going for these being thick lipped mullet you can see they've got little yellow coloration on them as well there's the bass you see the bass come in just have to watch carefully very occasionally down the bottom there you'll see the bass just cruising at a different speed there you go <laughs> greedy little things so obviously um being in the harbor they're used to seeing things like chips and bread in the water lots of people feed them here and they've actually got um like seagull pecks on the top of their backs because what happens is well-meaning uh, people will throw the bread out for the fish just to see this sort of thing and then the seagulls come in and just go straight down with their beaks and it ends up being on the back of these mullet so you can usually tell the history of a fish and how battered it is on its back some of those bigger mullet have been really pecked on the back so I brought them right in here it's tiny bits of bread in the water and lots of oil as well use a fish oil product just to get them into it I just want to see how they take it really whereas a bass will take a live bait and just sucks it in uh, these mullet sort of open their mouth and swim into it a slightly different way of feeding well, what I did notice though was that bass eat bread as well are you spotting the bass? <laughs> it's a 
is a real no fishing area as well right next i'm right next to a big sign that says no fishing believe it or not So what's the point in all this showing this? <laughs> I think just knowing how the fish move and how they can come on the feed and off the feed. There was also a boat that came in uh, and because it's on a harbour, uh, the fish are not spooked by this boat really. They just carried on looking for this juicy bread that I'd give. So we're here in Eastbourne, uh, it's Sovereign Harbour. Been filming these mullet, um, and it's not just mullet here either. We've also got, I don't know if you can pick it out from this footage, but we've also got bass in amongst them there, just on the edge of the shoal. There's a small silver eel keeps popping up. We've even had a sea trout, very battered looking sea trout that's obviously been caught in a net at some point. And as we look through this footage, you'd possibly pick out the difference between the mullet and the bass. But there's a good 50 fish here. Uh, to about four and a half pounds. Those bigger fish are four and a half pounds. 45 centimetres, 50 centimetre fish, some of those. And you'll see, I'm just gonna drop a bit of bread down. You see how competitive they are when the bread goes down. So it's nice to see, it does draw a bit of a crowd here as well. Obviously uh, you can't fish in the harbour but it's a great place to just observe what these mullet bass and even sea trout are doing and what these fish like to do they do hang about uh, near obstructions underneath the sea from some previous footage on the on the channel this is a bass under a similar sort of structure um, I caught on a lure. Actually, when you study the fish underwater, I'm not so sure it, you feel so good about waking them out. Just wanted to show that it was caught from a very similar area structure, and they always make a little dive just to try and get away. They always make that little dive for the structure as well. You need to move them away from that if you're catching them. So back to the mullet. See how close they'll come up and take that bread. <laughs> and there we go. We will be doing a little bit of mullet fishing on the channel. Um, this is a bit of practice just to see what they're like under the water as well and see if they'll take the bread. It's obviously something they're used to feeding on. The only problem I've got here, this is a real no fishing venue in Eastbourne Harbour so it's not going to happen here um, but just studying them in a harbour these are going to be a lot easier to catch I think than those sort of fish that you have out at sea